everyone, my name's Zillier2, and welcome to a Victoria 2 HPM Let's Play. Yes, so in the last session or last series, we played as uh, not Shogunate, we played as Imperial Japan, we united Japan, uh, spread across the Pacific, and really, really changed the world for the better, I think. Um, but in this game, we will be playing as good old-fashioned Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah. So Switzerland is interesting, right? They are neutral. Totally, totally neutral. Not only that, they are in a very good position. 80% literacy. Their population is 100% Swiss. They are in mountains. Every single province is a mountain province, which means invading them is a bitch. They are surrounded by no one that really hates them, no one that needs to conquer them, and in Victoria 2, nothing really happens to them. And that is what we're going to change, because in this game, Switzerland will become a world power. Now, in HPM, it is impossible to be a world power if you only have one state. So that's our first goal. We need to take over a state. Uh, doing that might be a little hard, though. Now, first, I think I might go to war with Austria, because Austria usually gets fucked by Prussia. But right now, I think I just need to build up my nation, make it nice and powerful, get some industry going. Uh, what are these? The Catholic Party? We are a republic, and we do have uh, pretty, good, pretty good reform, so no one should really be running away from my land. We get the Freedom of Religion Act, which helps... Decrease militancy, but increase consciousness. Okay, I'm okay with that. And right here, we have the abandoned Swiss neutrality or enforced neutrality. So this... Let's see. One of the following is true. Any gate power has to have military access or is not a puppet. Military. So basically, military access. And doing so, we'll just get rid of everything. No, Everyone will hate me, but no one can declare war on me because I have political neutrality. Now this... Um, uh, yeah, I can't do anything with it. I'm also not gaining any prestige, so I have to build myself up. I need to get 20 prestige, uh, and that means I need to go down aesthetics, which I usually don't do. But right now, so I'm actually a cooperative industrialism, which just means I get a lot more commerce and industry, but I should probably go down the culture first, get some aesthetics. Uh, we can hopefully fund everything. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So, no Greece? Yes, Iron Wolf. It's not going to be Greece. Shut up. <laughs> We're not doing Greece. Alright, let's try and see if we can do it without tariffs. Oh, and of course, we want to get some bureaucrats. Should be easy to uh, get bureaucrats and everything. You know, accounting how everyone is Swiss. Now, you see New Chale here? New Chale is a satellite of ours, but they're in the sphere of the Prussians. Eventually, they'll join us. I don't know exactly when it'll happen but it will don't you worry <laughs> getting a nice bit of population uh, i don't know sardinia piedmont now nah, they're friendly with the french that's kind of a problem baden is in the sphere of the austrians yeah i think austria would be the best idea because they're going to be the weakest and we could easily take over like lombardia or uh actually if we took over like tyrol we took over Tyrol, we'd be uh, still in the mountains, still in the Alps. Or, you know, I think Lombardia would be the better idea just because we have more population. Although, when Italy does form, it's going to be a problem because we're going to own a lot of their cores. They are not going to appreciate that. Another problem we have is the supply limit in our lands. We can't build 30, you know, the good old-fashioned uh, 30,000 armies because... We can't really afford to have those in our lands. Right, we can actually turn down the uh, spending right now. Because, of course, we're not going to war anytime soon. We need to get that 20 prestige first. <laughs> a bunch of population. A bunch of uh, craftsmen, I should say. Going to get a an artillery factory. Nice. We're already sixth in the world for industry. So that's, you know, I don't know, man, like... How the hell did Switzerland become just such a good place? 
Like, and, and also, like, how the hell did no one ever try to conquer them? Not even the Nazis, man. I mean, I understand it's all, uh, it is mountainous, and I guess not really that valuable. Also, we do, so when the Geneva Convention happens, what do we get? Oof. We do gain the prestige. I need empiricism. Uh, but that infamy increase might not be good. But that 10 prestige, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to do that 10 prestige. No, And it fucks over everyone else. Decreases, you know, what, army maintenance and also uh, hurts their infamy decrease. So, you know, I might as well. Right, so the state administration's at 100%, but we still need that national administration. Uh, we do not have enough intellectuals, so of course they'll go next. How much, uh, oh, not enough soldiers, so we'll just bring those up as well. The new trail only has 14,000, so that's you know, not that much. Ascension to Queen Victoria, cool. And Coolio, totally rad. Alright, so 1% administration is enough. Let's go ahead and get some intellectuals going. The intellectuals, yeah. I don't know. Swiss are kind of German, right? They're like German, Italian, and French combined, I believe. Although I believe they are more Germanic. All right, Mexican thaw, good for them. And there's romanticism. Great. Let's get realism. Try and get that realist art. We'll get a lot of prestige, and maybe that'll be what uh, makes us a great power. Oh, there you go. We already got five uh, prestige from that. Oh. Yay, romanticism. We were the first to get romantic uh, literature. And we're actually 40% liberal? Wow! Switzerland, man. Very liberal. I mean, that might actually... It might be good, might be bad. What are the liberals? They're pro-military. It's good. Atheism? Really? I don't think I've ever seen... Oh, there you go. We can already abandon it. I've never seen a liberal party be atheist. I like it, though. All right. Interventionalism, free trade. So that's not... Actually, it's the exact same thing. It's just atheism. All right. Cool. Now, I can abandon Swiss uh, neutrality right now. I don't believe... I don't know. Who's allied with who? If we allied with Prussia... If we allied with Prussia... And eventually North Germany... Then we could definitely take a chunk out of the Austrians. Easily take a chunk out of them. But I have to do it right now. Yep, might as well. Might as well do it now so I can lose that infamy as soon as possible and try as I might. There we go. The might of the Swiss army is such that we can repel our neighbors without difficulty. Our policy of neutrality is no longer needed. All right. So the Prussians don't want anything to do with us right now. That's all right. Uh, the French are already cordial with us, which I don't like. Prussia, Prussia, look, we're both Germanics. At least I believe we're Germanics. The first official, official census. Nice. We just gained a bit more prestige there. Awesome. Back to being a secondary power. All right, come on, Prussia. Love us, Prussia. Love us. Texans default. <laughs> Is there anything, like, cool we can do? Well, they got their tunnel. That's later. All right, but with realism, we'll be able to pop up. We uh, have a good amount, amount of intellectuals. Yes, they, they can hold their little rally. That's fine. Tariffs, you know, we can boost up the tariffs and get rid of the taxes for the upper class. And uh, military spending has got to go up. we got to get more military. Now that we're no longer neutral, it's a good idea. Also, sieging my lands is going to be so hard. Oh, this is going to be so great. All right, but the Austrians are allied with a good amount of people. That is a problem. So, Prussia, we got to get in on that. All right, an excellent initiative. Got to get in on that sweet, sweet Prussia. Boy, Carlos Spain's in 12th place. Oh, good job, Spain. You already failed. Let's see. An invasion would probably have a lot of complications, and, well, it would be so much trouble that it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I agree with you. You know, Switzerland, 
It's a very nice place, but there's just nothing here. That's some iron fruit. That's weird. Wouldn't expect there to be fruit in mountains, but all right. Yeah, there's really nothing here. Got a bit of coal and iron, but... You know? And it's kind of in... Well, I mean, it's in between everyone, so it's a nice buffer state, I guess. They're so lucky, the Swiss. They're just so, so lucky to be where they are. Let's go, soldiers. Of course, being neutral also means they don't help anyone when they really need it. I think, what was it, the refugee crisis going on right now? They're, like, totally ignoring it. Just being like, eh, not our problem. Sorry, we're neutral. Bye. It's kind of a dick move. All right. Uh, middle class. Let's stop taxing middle class entirely. I know it'll probably be a better idea to help my uh, economy, but middle class is important. All right. So infantry. Let's get some artillery. Actually, uh, let's get artillery and two hussars. Can you support six? Yes, you can. So you can support six more in each. That's good. Wow, I'm losing a lot of money from that. And holy shit. Okay, uh, you know what? I think I should just not subsidize anyone. That's it. It's a fully liberal, free trade, even though we're still interventionalists. So it doesn't matter. Canned food and luxury goods or luxury, luxury clothes. Oh, no, we're getting canned food. Okay, good. That's what I needed. That is exactly what I needed. Hey, you know what would help our economy? Just only tax the poor people. Yeah, yeah, that's... It's called trickle-down economics. Have you heard of it? Well, it helps our economy because the capitalists. Here, you know what? How about this? 50% and... Let's do 75%. Eh, that's good. Is that good? I mean, I still need to eventually, you know, spend on land units again. Uh, Laissez-faire? No one's even laissez-faire. So, I don't care. Alright, we got realism. Let's go ahead and get some uh, industry. Yeah, let's get that supply limit up. I feel like that's going to be quite important when we're fighting in these mountains. Alright, Prussia. That's Bavaria. Alright, Prussia. Now, again, I don't think we're going to do anything until... Uh, the North German Federation is formed. Well, for obviously, right now, they don't even want to ally with me, so that's kind of a problem. Now, if we could go under the... Oh, the Prussians aren't even trying. Well, it makes sense. We are, you know... We're not even a thing Prussia needs. Prussia has almost everyone they need, except for Saxony. Hopefully, they can go for them soon. Oh, they go Romanticist Art, so we're already in 11th place again. Nice. All right, and there's your artillery. Liberals won, but that doesn't matter because it doesn't change anything except for being atheists. And, uh, well, we're all... Actually, we're half and half. Wow. I didn't know that. So these are the Catholics. The Catholic conservatives. Conservative. And then the Freinitzing Democrat... Was that the Free Democratic Party, I guess? Ooh, realist art. We're already in eighth place. Look at that. Already in eighth place. Now in the vanilla Victoria too, the Swiss. Oh, we're already at five percent. Cool. The Swiss um can become a great power because they don't have that rule of one state only. You know, and that's I think that's actually why HPM has it because the, uh, the Swiss constantly became great powers even though that makes no sense because they're neutral. So. You know, all right, got some artillery going, but we need those luxury clothes. Um, where is it over here? Stop automating it and just buy it all. Buy any amount you can find, please and thank you. All right, we're gonna set a rally point for Bjorn. Okay, and you two can combine. Now we can mobilize quite a few, so I don't think I'm gonna build any infantry. In fact, I could get rid of some of these infantry. It's going to be quite a problem. Actually, oh, what's the supply limit now? Okay, so I can actually set up one more group. That's pretty good. Commerce, let's go ahead and get some stock exchange. So, Dinia Piedmont wants an alliance. They're under the sphere of the French. Um... Well, Sardinia Piedmont would probably be a better... Al, yeah, they'd be good for an ally. I'm okay with that. 
Let's go ahead and get them. All right. So, yeah, I don't know. Should I go for Lombardia? It's either Lombardia or Tyrol, or South Tyrol. What if I released Italy as the puppet? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Um... I mean, yeah, definitely, Lombardia has the population. Yeah, fuck it, Lombardia. I need that population. If I can get up to a, a million total men, more soldiers, more everything, that just it's just better, you know? And everyone's getting their needs fulfilled. It's great. It's awesome. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, capitalists, you're doing nice. Uh, we do have some uh, unemployed, though. Uh-oh. Huh. Let's expand some of these factories, shall we? Costs a lot of money, but it's worth it. We're almost 50% liberal. Wow. Denmark's gone bankrupt. Alright, do you have Saxony yet? No, you don't. Well, I guess we'll just continue to wait. Prussia, my sweet, sweet Prussia, come on, be my ally, please, and thank you. All right, there you go. We can go ahead and get some uh, better political rights because we are going to be expanding into, you know, the wrong people, wrong cultures. People are running away, really. Hmm. Who would have guessed? Alliance? Nope. All right, who's uh, influencing me? Is it still just France? It is still just France. Well, actually, France is barely even influencing me, so I should be fine for a while at least. The craftsmen are fine now, although this sawmill isn't doing that well. Oh, they reopened the artillery. Artillery factories are opened up yet again. I got enough intellectuals and up administrators. Great. Stock exchange should help. Let's go ahead and get that army tech. Uh, can I get rid of that school? No, I cannot. It was Sora Academia. Oh, I need 45 prestige. Are you kidding me? Can I get that realism stuff? 0% chance. 4% oh, chance here. What about this? I need idealism. Oh, right. Idealism's a thing. All right. We'll get that next. We shall get it next. Thank you. All right, so, all right, all right, all right. So, getting the factories built up. We're still in sixth place for uh, industry. That's great. Craftsmen, not that many unemployed people. Of course, once these factories continue to grow. All right, we're at 50% now. That is fantastic. Let's get all cultural rights allowed, or political rights allowed. So we get higher assimilation rate. No one wants to run away now. That's great, even though we have 100% Swiss. So it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> they reopened the mills. All the uh, textile mills. Well, not textile mills, but all the uh, factories and stuff. Reopening all of them. Uh, glass factories doing pretty well. Alright, Chartist rallies. Cool. Now you're only allied with the crappy. Yeah, the little tiny Italians. Not the big ones. Like Sardinia Piedmont. France, would you accept an alliance? No one would accept an alliance. Really? Oh. That is no bueno. Alright, so no one is unemployed, pretty much. Great. Industry is good. Our soldiers still aren't being built. We have no luxury clothes. Alright, fine. How about we get Calvary? Because I know for a fact, you know, Calvary, it isn't as good, but we can actually build it. And it gives us that reconnaissance we need. That's pretty much all cavalry is good for. It's just reconnaissance. Otherwise, you just just, just get more artillery. Outbreak of cholera. Oh, that's great. We're just going to be losing people now. Didn't need that. No, sir. We don't even have 30,000 soldiers? What the hell? So how are we building up to 12? Oh, we're at war. Oh, big war, big war. What is this? The Prussian-French War of Honor. Really? They're just trying to fuck with the French? Oh. 
Seems odd. Please don't die here. All right, split in half. When you go there, when you go there. Great, so we actually have some cavalry. And we're 11 out of 12 now, because we're losing so much goddamn population. <laughs> that stupid cholera. Oh, and we got 10 more uh, prestige, I believe. Great. Let's go ahead and get censored press. And let's go idealism again. Start research. Cool. Liquor distillery. Great. Come on, Prussia. I believe in you. Prussia's gonna win? Oh, Prussia's gonna win! Oh, they're fucking over the French. Well... We could justify a little war... Oh, if we weren't allied with Sardinia, Piedmont, Piedmont, we'd be able to take over actually nothing. We'd probably only be able to take over Savoy because that's their capital state. Awkward. Well, Francie Pants, I don't know. Going to war right now probably with no real allies probably isn't the best idea. Ooh, the Dutch are in here? Oh, cool. Murder most foul. Oh my god, I was losing over a thousand people there. Dude, come on. This is a little much. Just a little, little much here. And that is what happens when the Swiss abandon neutrality. The world goes to shit. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you have broken... Oh, look, they're already taking Alsace Lorraine. Cool. You have broken the natural order. The natural order! Uh-oh. Slesvig Holstein is no longer under uh, Prussia. Uh-oh. Looks like the Austrians are getting in on it. That's not good. Uh, okay, so craftsmen. Oh, no, these two factories are doing well. Um, yes, do free trade. I want more liberals. If I can be like the most a liberal paradise, which pretty much... Yeah, I could easily be a liberal paradise if I wanted to. Ah, there you go. They took over Alsace Lorraine before they formed the North German Federation. Oh, they're allied with Russia now. Damn. Well, Prussia, you know who to go to war with next. Austria. And if you could just destroy Austria, that would be great. Oh, I love how I'm in eighth place. Well, if I can get that uh, last bit of art. Free press. Cool. What is it? The Realist Music. That's another 10. That would launch me ahead. Oh, oh, oh. That's my dog. That's my dog. I think my mom just came home. Oh, shit. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. There you go. She's freed. Okay, cool. Uh, Pro-military. Yes, please. I'm already at 84% literacy. <laughs> oh, so good. I mean, hell, I could just never expand. I could just make Switzerland into this amazing paradise. Who's this? Parma. Parma, are you allied with the... Yes, you are. So, no. Sorry there, bud. Prussia, come on. No. I think I really do have to wait till the North German Federation is formed. Yeah, it's gonna suck. But whatever. Let's get ideological thoughts and more national focuses, so I feel... Uh, okay, let's... Now, wh what was that railroad thing? I need, like, steel railroad, don't I? Yeah, steel rail railroad and machine tools. Let's actually go ahead and get mechanization to help our industry. Because industry is important. Alright, we have 0.3% capitalists. That is pretty insane. The amount we have. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, reopen the steel, steel mill. Maybe it'll work. Who knows? Reopen all the places. Come on, I believe in you guys. You can do it. You can do it! No one wants to open up that poor textile. You know, get rid of the textile mill. No more textiles. Sorry. Alright. And... Shared prestige. I like prestige. We're in ninth place now. Shit. Oh, what is this war over? The Ching Feng Chong concession. And uh, they're making a war for independence. Oh, France is having Jacobins already. Wow. Are they in France or Paris, I should say? No, but it looks like they've held them off. All right, cool. More liberals. It's always weird to see more than 50% liberal. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get a better voting franchise, I suppose. 
The most amazing of all voting franchises. Alright, tax efficiency increase. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, with interchangeable parts. Then we'll go... Hmm, let's get market structure. Because we're really good for commerce tech. I know that. And then I think I'll go down some more military techs. Because I'm going to need a good, uh, good army. A real good army. Oh no! Krakow just got annexed. Poor little Krakow. Don't worry, Krakow. I believe in you. Oh, and I annexed um, Nuchal. Whatever the fuck it's called. Alright, you got Saxony yet? Nope. They're still fighting over it like a bunch of idiots. And what about uh, Holstein? Or Schleswig Holstein? Uh, they might be able to get it back. It looks like they will. Good. Good, good, good. It looks like all the fact. Ooh, not all the factories. Some of the factories are doing really well. The glass factory and liquor factory doing nicely. Uh, that sawmill, it's losing money, but for some reason it's still... Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? Here, cancel subsidies. No subsidies. Sorry, buds. I don't do subsidies. Ooh, that's some unemployment right there. Well... That's what I gotta do. More, oh, no longer 50% uh, liberal. You know what? I think the whole thing was a uh, suffrage movement. That's why they were actually becoming more liberal. Eh, who cares? Oh, no. Still no craftsmen. Those two factories are just really, really nice. Well, let's keep expanding them then. Glass and liquor. That's all we need. This is what we make here. Yeah, our top exported good is liquor. And then it's iron. So, there you go. That's all you need. Uh, we don't need this sawmill, I guess. Do we even make lumber? I don't think we even make... No, we export lumber. Or wood. So, yeah. Uh, am I under anyone? Oh, I think I just went under someone. Oh, piss. I am losing a lot of money now. Why am I losing 254? Oh, you know what? Is it this? Stop that. Yep, there you go. Now I'm losing a lot of money because I'm not making as much from uh, tariffs. Well, time to start taxing the poor again. Sorry, poor people. I'm sorry, not sorry. All right. And we're 4.9% uh, soldiers. Ugh, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Okay. Do, 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 do. We're just, uh, yep, sitting, some, uh, sitting around some more. It's kind of like the Japanese campaign. We gotta build up before we uh, actually start expanding. Or at the very least, the AI really needs to uh, fuck with each other. Anarcho liberals are now a thing. Oh, God. And there goes the sawmill. Well, the sawmill's always been down, I think. Alright, so better artillery. Let's get some uh, army professionalism. We need the best army in the world. I mean, they are the Swiss, so, you know, it only makes sense. And, of course, I really love how I have negative on naval tech. Like, oh, no, not the Navy. <laughs> Anything but the Navy. All right, Prussia, come on. You can do it. Annex them, please. Oh, God. Is this going to be a run where I, I never see the North German Federation? I bet it is. I fucking bet it is. Oh, Hungary just popped out. Go! Oh, 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 French reactionaries. We're going to see an absolute monarchy in France. Oh, and you know what that also means? Sardinia Piedmont. Sardinia Piedmont. Let's dissolve the alliance. Because they're going to lose their sphere, right? They should. Their government collapses. Come on. Absolute monarchy. What? Is it not? Okay, well, Paris has been retaken. Oh, no, it's being, re it's being taken back again. What the fuck, France? Why do you have so many reactionaries? There you go, it fell. Oh, it didn't fall. Oh, they're at 
in a battle, I guess? Yeah, ah, oh, shit. Oh, I just broke my alliance for nothing. 